everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm very excited to be doing a makeup tutorial for fall. Yeah, I wanted to do a really dramatic brown, like chestnutty brown smoky eye for fall, kind of like a nighttime look. And it's actually also inspired by a new perfume collection by The Body Shop. Now The Body Shop has released five new perfumes. These are from the Elixirs of Nature collection. And they're basically five eau de parfums that are inspired from all different places on the planet and they're um, made from some of the most rarest scents. So the rarest plants that exist in these regions of the world. So usually, you know, when perfume is made, they will harvest the plant, obviously. Usually they need a ton of blossoms or something. These are made from scents that are very, like from plants that are very rare and hard to find. So to create these scents, they don't actually harvest the plant. So the plant can continue to live without being harmed and they're inspired by very exotic and very um, rare scents that are found all over the world. So I think this idea behind it is so unusual, like it's so genius and um, the actual plant continues to grow. Now the one that I'm most proud of, I guess, <laughs> it's like I'm talking as if I made these things, but um, yeah, this is the Nigritella scent and this is actually a scent um, from Switzerland. So, well, from a plant from Switzerland, which is so cool. The red vanilla orchid, which is actually the plant that grows in Switzerland in the Alpine region. Tuberose and vanilla for a fiery sensuality and this smells so good. This is like a beautiful daytime fragrance. And the other one that um, kind of inspired this look actually is this one, Bohanti. Now they all have very sort of unusual names because they're made from unusual and rare um, plants. And this one is a spicy woods fragrance. Kind of rich and heavy. I've been loving these sort of richer scents, especially for the fall and especially at nighttime. And I've just been absolutely loving this. So. Oh, these fragrances are so beautiful. These are eau de parfums actually. These are not eau de toilette, so they are very long lasting on me. But without further ado, let's jump into this look because I really hope that you will like it, try it out for fall, and let's get started. So to start off this look, I'm going to use the all-in-one Insta Blur. This is basically a primer that just helps the foundation go on more smoothly. It just smooths out if you have any sort of enlarged pores or anything like that. Next up, I'm going to use the Fresh Nude Foundation. I'm gonna be using two shades, blending them together and applying them. So I have Bora Bora 012 and Chelsea Porcelain 010. And then I just like to kind of dab it all over my face with the foundation brush first and then kind of buff it in. And once I sort of have a base on, um, I like to just take a buffing sponge or a buffing sponge, just like one of these makeup sponges, just blend it out. I feel like that just gives me a very smooth application. So next I'm using the concealer and this comes in a stick form. And this concealer, I like it because it has, for me, it has a little bit of a pink tone. This is the shade 00, which I think is the lightest one. It has like a pinkish tone to it, which I love pink toned concealers because they are very um, brightening and they do a great job on me to cover up uh, dark circles. I just can't do concealer nicely anymore without the sponge. So to set everything, I'm going to use the Extra Virgin's Mineral Powder. Now you could use this powder as a foundation if you really kind of buff it in with like a really thick, um, intense brush. But what I like to do is um, I use a brush that's not as intense as the Kabuki and then just like get a tiny little bit of this um, and then just dust it loosely over my face. And I feel like this way just gives a more lighter application and you can use that to actually um, set your makeup as well. So this is the eye look we're going for. Um, so to start off this uh, eye look, I use the um, Duo Eye Definer. And this is in a brown color because we are going for a smoky brown look. This is like my new favorite thing is using eyeliners as bases. Covering my entire lid, going to put little lines like that going up. Um, you can use your finger or whatever, and I just actually just use a brush. I'm gonna blend that out. Okay, so I am using this palette. This is the Down to Earth palette. This is the 8 eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. 
Now this is a matte shade. This palette is a mix of um, matte and shimmers and stuff. This one is a matte and this is the perfect like transition color. And this is uh, gonna go with a big fluffy brush into the crease. Kind of just like working it up. This is just going to be our transition color. So it's going to be easy to blend out the darker shades. So next I'm going in with this. This is the Shimmer Cubes palette. So there's four colors in here and this is number 06. And I'm gonna be using this shade right here which is this gorgeous like chestnut brown. And what I'm actually gonna do is when I'm picking this up, I've actually wet my brush a tiny little bit and that is going to make the payoff of this even more intense. Now these already have very good payoff um, in pigmentation but when you apply it wet, it makes it almost more metallic and it really makes that metallic kind of stand out. I'm basically applying that all over my lid. So now I'm gonna go in with a brush. There's nothing on this brush. I'm just going to blend out the edges a little bit so that you don't have like this really sort of harsh um, transition between those two. And because I have that transition color already down, it's gonna be much easier to blend this out. Now I'm just going along the edge. I don't, you don't wanna go like over the lid because that's gonna reduce the intensity. Now I'm going back in with the Down to Earth palette and I'm gonna be picking up this shade right here which is kind of, again, like a dark brown. It's also kind of shimmery. And I'm just gonna be packing that like into the crease a little bit on the outer third and then just working that in. Blend it out using either the same brush or whatever. Sometimes I like to use sort of a bigger brush just to blend. And then I'm gonna go back in with this color here. This is a black and it's matte. I'm taking a sort of a round brush and I'm just going to apply that on the very outer part of the crease and just work that kind of right the very very corner I don't want the black to like overpower the look you know what I mean doing little sort of back and forth motions and then you can take your brush again and blend this is just to add some like intensity and darkness to the look and this is really up to you like how dark you want to go and then I'm gonna go in with this color right here and this is the lightest palette or lightest color in the palette it's not white it's an off-white this is matte again I love when highlights are matte because I feel like shimmery highlights are sometimes just too shimmery and you can't apply them everywhere versus a matte which is definitely more versatile because you can really use it to blend out like all areas of the eye and then on the lower lash line i'm going to go back in with this color here because i do want to have some shadow down here as well and then i'm also going to go back in with that same color that i used um on the lid like on the flat space of my lid and just kind of darken that up and just kind of blend that Next I'm using the Skinny Thin Felt Eyeliner in black and um, I'm going to do kind of a dramatic wing. So I applied my liner and what I like to do is make a little corner on the very inner part of my eye here but then I don't line it all the way down here because I feel like that really closes up my eye so I just kind of stop it there, just getting really thin. So now I'm going to apply mascara. I'm going to use the Big and Curvy Waterproof. And I'm just looking down into a mirror so I can apply that really well. Now I'm going to take the cold pencil again that I used earlier, the brown one. And I'm just going to apply that right into the waterline just to kind of fill up that space. I'm going to use the brow definer pencil and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. So lastly, I'm going to apply some false lashes. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You know, my lashes are so sparse and just really nothing special. So I always feel like when I do a dark look like this, um, I think it looks much better when I do wear lashes, so I just like to apply some. I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face, so I'm gonna be using the Shimmer Waves Powder in the shade Blush Rose. I just take it with a big brush. And then I'm going to buff that onto my cheeks. Now this has just the most gorgeous shimmer, and it's really buildable, that's what I like. When you apply it, like you can really kind of build it up to 
the amount that you want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up the lightest shade in here. And then I'm gonna use that just to highlight, just up here. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with the Color Crush lipstick, and this is shade 310. All right, guys, so that is the final look. Yeah, check out the perfumes also from the Body Shop, the Elixirs of Nature collection. If you're into fragrance, these are definitely worth a try because I think they're absolutely beautiful. So thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love reading your comments also below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.